The surface of the sun is covered in black spots, sunspots. Some of these vast structures are large enough to engulf the entire Earth. Space observation has allowed us to track their numbers as they ebb and flow across the face of the sun. The greater the number of sunspots, the more powerful our star becomes, threatening everything from astronauts to the electricity grids back on Earth. We've discovered that the sun has seasons. For decades, scientists have sought to understand how these subtle changes in the sun's power might be affecting the Earth. It's a puzzle that led one man to look away from the sun and focus instead on the rivers around the Iguazu Falls. Argentinian astrophysicist Pablo Maus. It's a very large river. It's the fourth river in the world. And like other larger rivers than the Paraná, for example, the Amazon or Congo, we have data of this uh, river for the whole 20th century. Oh, so you can look back to, what, about 1900? Or... Yes, from 1900, 1904. And this is because this is a river that can be navigated by very large ships. Pablo brought the statistical tools of a physicist to bear on a hundred years' worth of precious river records. What emerged was that the river, too, had a rhythm. We found that the stream flow of the river goes up and down and up again and down again three times during the century. And uh, we went further trying to understand why. The amount of water in the Paraná River seems to be following a pattern. The question is, what could be driving the change in these vast river systems? Pablo first looked to the 11-year sunspot cycle, but found no fit. So instead, he turned to calculations that describe the sun's underlying brightness during the last century. He showed me what happens when you superimpose this solar data on the water levels in the river. You see that when the sun goes up, the river goes up. So what this is saying is around, around 1925 or so, there, there was more solar activity. So the amount of, really, the solar radiation falling on the Earth. Right, there was relatively more activity, solar activity, in these three periods we can see here. I mean, it, it's a beautiful correlation between the water flow, yes, the flow in these rivers and the solar yes, it is. We find it's a very striking correlation. This is the great mosque in the city of Kairouan in Tunisia. And this mosque is the fourth holiest place in Islam. And so, for the last 14 centuries, the relentless passing of the days has been celebrated by prayers. Before dawn, sunrise, noon, sunset, and in the evening. The calls to prayer mark out the passing of time as the sun travels across the sky. But it's not the sun that's moving. What we are really observing is the movement of the Earth through space. These are the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. According to Roman legend, they held the heavens above the Earth. and they are one of the finest places to come to view the stars.
From a place like this, it's easy to appreciate the profound effect that the night sky would have had on our ancestors. Thank you.